and uh, so therefore uh, what I hope is that we will be able to uh, uh, to work on the things that are needed to reach the first world in 20 years uh, which would mean more investments in what we call the three E's education economy environment including the pro poor agenda so that we will be able to have more people in the middle class and uh, less poverty a dramatic reduction in poverty and uh, and of course as i said earlier we also need to reform the political system so these are the things that i would like to see uh in the future whoever the leader may be yeah, as i said i don't want to talk about politics okay, okay. When? Well, we hope it will resume. We we hope it will resume soon. Uh, we are committed to achieve peace in Mindanao. In fact, to achieve lasting peace in Mindanao, which has had a decades-old problem of uh, of uh, conflict, and uh, our paradigm for peace does not only cover uh, military um, efforts, but also development and um, interfaith dialogue and we are grateful for the support the unwavering support that japan has been giving to this peace process mm -hmm. that uh, even if uh, we have had to uh, postpone our balanced budget uh, target uh, our international creditors our the rating agencies and in um, the international financial community, the business community, uh, agree that given the global economic crisis, that is tolerable as long as we stay within the bounds of fiscal discipline. We are uh, and, and that uh, we and uh, and that we are deliberate. So uh, we uh, in in uh, determining how much to spend. Uh, given our efforts at taxation, both legislative and administrative, we are uh, very mindful of benchmarks, debt to GDP ratio, deficit to GDP ratio, and uh, so the important thing is fiscal discipline. So we will continue to be committed to both keeping fiscal discipline and investing in the resiliency of our economy as well as in its long-term growth prospects Praise. well as i told uh yeah. mr romero yeah. if we're going to compare uh what uh, the philippines is now to what it was nine years ago there there's a lot of difference uh as i said our economy is stronger now and able to withstand the shocks of the global crisis better than we that, than we weathered the previous global crisis we have new and modern infrastructure and this is an investment in the future because generations to come will benefit from this infrastructure in the form of a more um, more competitive national economy and when i speak of infrastructure i don't only mean physical infrastructure like roads bridges and ports i also mean human infrastructure like like uh, access to education and health where millions are now uh, able to to avail uh, where, where, whereas they did not have such access uh, a decade ago. The same thing with the job creation, that we've created millions of jobs. In fact, now even as the world, uh, even as two-thirds of the world went into crisis, year on year we were still able to create more than a million jobs. Uh, of course, work is never done. Nation building is never finished. And, uh, and I believe that we should continue to invest in what I call the three E's, education, economy, and environment. And when I say economy, including uh, the programs that we need to translate the benef the, uh, our fiscal and economic achievements into real benefits for the poor and the, and the rest of the people. Yes. Well, we have to reduce poverty. Uh, we have to work towards modernizing our economy. We have to make sure that we continue to create jobs for our people. We have to make sure that the, um, we have to make sure that the uh, the, the uh, fiscal and economic achievements that we have made translate into real benefits for our people in the form of jobs, education, health care, and and general well-being. And uh, and that is why I say that we should constantly invest in the three E's: education, economy, and the environment 
in order that the people will have a um, better life. And uh, if I were to put it in terms of our overseas Filipino workers, we are very grateful for their support to our country. But we hope that someday we will have enough jobs in the Philippines, good jobs in the Philippines, so that going abroad will be a career option and not the only choice for a hardworking Filipino. Well, as I said earlier, Paolo, um, we have already shown the capability uh, to strengthen our internal economy. We have already shown that we are, we are capable, but that we have the capacity to undertake the bitter pill of economic reform. And in fact, this has uh, shown, uh, this has served as well during this period of the global economic crisis where we are relatively more resilient than many other countries. And so, um, and the, the best way by which we can allay uh, concerns is that uh, we stick to the benchmarks that, as I told you earlier, we don't, we, even if we have to postpone the balanced budget that we originally wanted to have in 2010, uh, the global economic crisis intervened with that, as it intervened with the economic plans of everybody in the whole world. The important thing is, is, is that we must stick to discipline, we must stick to benchmarks, and we are constantly, uh, our economic managers are, cons are constantly meeting on that to be deliberate and to be transparent as far as our targets are concerned. Oh, I would say it's been a very fruitful visit. Um, I, I came here as an official guest on the invitation of the Japanese government so that we can pursue our economic, our already very good bilateral relations and pursue uh, cooperation on a number of fields, uh, labor and uh, the economy, labor and trade, security, uh, the economy. On labor and trade, uh, this is my first official visit since the JPEPA. Uh, was ratified and I have mentioned the things that we work, have been working on to move that forward. And uh, on uh, security, uh, you know, because we have 70% of the manpower on Japanese vessels and we are the number one uh, seafaring uh, uh, provider, seafarer provider in the whole world, we have many uh, Filipinos placed at risk in the Gulf of Aden. And I am very gratified that yesterday, as pr both Prime Minister Taro Aso uh, told me the day before, and the Minister of Transport told me yesterday, as, as the principal sponsor, that, um, that Japan, the Japanese diet has passed an act that um, empowers the Japanese government to send uh, patrol craft from its self-defense force to protect ships in the Gulf of Aden, not only carrying the Japanese flag, but the flag of any nationality. And that is a very, very big source of comfort for our Filipino seafarers and our government in behalf of our seafarers. I think that's one very, very important uh, security uh, aspect that uh, we find uh, truly meaningful because Japan is the first country to really give a in action a comprehensive solution to the problem of piracy in the Gulf of Aden. And then in terms of the official development assistance, uh, Japan is our largest source of official development assistance. So uh, yes, in, the, in uh, my first day here, we saw the signing of three agreements uh, uh, worth almost uh, $500 million, and these are to support credit for our very important agribusiness sector, to support our, our infrastructure system, our roll-on, roll-off ferry system that has made such a big difference in the lives of our archipelago, and uh, to support disaster uh, mitigation and adaptation for the Mindanao Island of Kamigin. I uh, also had... Um, uh, the honor of uh, meeting with their majesties, uh, the emperor and the empress, with Prime Minister Taro Aso and senior government officials, with parliamentarians, with the business community. And my message to all of them is, we value Japan as a reliable friend and ally. We, um, we um, as far as security is concerned, we have uh, 
declared it even in my speech at the Friendship Exchange Council yesterday, but that we stand four square uh, behind our friend and ally, Japan, in uh, seeking a comprehensive solution to the North Korean issue in line with the UN Security Council resolutions and hopefully to the six-party talks framework. Because Japan, as I said, has been a friend of the Philippines. It has stood by the Philippines, by ASEAN, by the world. And now we must stand by Japan also in its position on the North Korean peninsula, on the North Korean issue. Thank you so much. Mrs. President, thank you so much. Thank you.